Here is my top 10 things to do when you're in Antigua and Barbuda. At number 10, hiking. If you like walking and hiking, this is a great place to do it. There are many hikes, especially in the English Harbour area. You get some great views from these hikes, but also the history that you see. I've seen old gravestones, old cobbled paths leading up to old forts. It's absolutely fabulous. Definitely something to do. At number nine is Fig Tree Drive. This is on the west coast of the island and it's a fabulous drive. It takes you through lots of greenery, lots of fig trees, banana trees, and it's just like a little rainforest. You go up and down the hills and the views in front of you, the mountains and the hills, it's just so special and definitely a drive you should do. Number eight is Nelson's Dockyard in English Harbour. Built in the net days of Nelson, but still a working dockyard, you can go to see that all the old buildings that have been repurposed into shops, bakeries, a museum, supermarket, and lots of restaurant choices here. And you can wander around all the boats, and they're so big, massive yachts, and you can imagine that you own a super yacht. A great place to go for a day and just chill out and have a coffee and watch the world go by. At number seven is Shirley's Heights Lookout. Shirley's Heights is part of the National Park for Nelson's Dockyard, so the same pass will get you into both places for the day. We've got some great old buildings up here to explore, but most people come up here for the view. You've got the blockhouse view, and then up the hill, past these quarters, you have the actual lookout. And here at the lookout is where you'll find they have the Shirley's Heights parties on Thursdays and Sundays. My number six choice is Dickinson's Bay Beach on the northwest of the island. The sea is just so blue and calm and the sand is like the softest sand you have ever felt. And don't forget if you're there to go and visit the Contiki Bar. Just stand on the beach, wave your arms and he'll come and get you. Number five, Betty's Hope Plantation. 
an old sugar plantation. It's got a great museum here. It explains all how, how it worked in the day. You've got the slaves area and where the, an old train from when they moved from using mules and oxen. You've got the distillery building to explore. And then you've got the actual mills and one of them has been fully restored and is just spectacular. A great place for history. Number four, Half Moon Bay Beach. This is on the east side of the island and it's just a gorgeous place to go. It has seaweed sometimes in the year, but it doesn't deflect from the beauty of this beach. If you walk towards the right as you enter and all the way to the end, you'll find a calmer swimming area and a great snorkeling spot. Great for fishing too and nobody goes up there so you can have it all to yourself when you go here don't forget to go to beach bombs bar they do the absolutely best meals and the best lobster meal you'll get on the island Number three is St. John's, the capital of Antigua. Great place to go and do some shopping, people watching. You've got meat markets, vegetable markets, the fish market, lots of local shops to choose from. Anything you need, you'll find here at St. John's. Number two is Devil's Bridge, also on the east side of the island. This is a natural rock formation with the most dramatic waves that you will see on the island. There's some information as you go in about the history of Devil's Bridge and it's said that people in the days of plantations, the slaves, would jump off there to commit suicide. So a sad story, but it doesn't take away from the beautiful scenery. This is my second favorite thing to do in Antigua. And at number one is Morris Bay Beach. Just off Fig Tree Drive, this is the most secluded, most beautiful beach you will find on Antigua. It's gorgeous. The swimming is gorgeous. The snorkeling is the best. You can fish here as well. And you'll even have cows come down to see you when you're having a Sunday. It's just wonderful. They've also spent quite a lot of time cleaning up this beach and providing more facilities. There is a showers and toilet block. There's some benching, benches and umbrellas to sit on. And this is a great beach for finding somewhere in the shade because it's got lots of trees that you can go and sit underneath. And this is number one.